Well, after months of snow and ice, those bitter cold temperatures, as Wayne mentioned today, we're getting a hefty dose of rain, and you're actually starting to see some bulbs pop up, daffodils, tulips on the way. Nice to see. Many of you might be thinking now about getting your lawn ready for the spring season. Now at 5, our Sarah Beth Ackerman is live in Syracuse with tips on how to get your garden or lawn ready for spring. Sarah Beth. Matt, Megan, they say April showers brings me flowers. And between this rain and this snow, I'm sure there's a good chance your lawn is looking just like this. A big soggy mess between dead grass revealed as the snow melts away. We spent the day with a lawn company and a greenhouse to help you spruce up your lawn. Lawn care companies and greenhouses are gearing up for their busiest season of all. It's a full-time job. It's um, seven days a week. Terry Zerillo Griner spends her days with these bright colored plants, but they didn't grow overnight. Griner says taking the time to inspect every plant goes a long way. If you're new to the planting world and you want to get your hands dirty this spring, Griner says preparation and planning is key. On hot days, everything has to be watered. On cold days, temperatures have to be um, checked. You know, we wait for sunlight. Speaking of sunlight, Griner says the natural light is the way to go. But on days like today, when it's gray out, you may opt for artificial light as an alternative heating source. Another business that relies on the weather is Yardsmith, a lawn care company. Rain like this, you can pretty much work right through, and it doesn't slow you down much. So uh, we're hoping it stays at least like this or get better. Despite the rainy conditions, Chris West powers up and between raking and blowing the leaves off the lawn, West is clearing off any problem areas so greener grass can grow. West says raking the grass through is the best way to start preparing for your spring lawn. The grass is pretty resilient. It uh, comes right back for the most part. A few helpful tips to keep your lawn and plants growing their fullest this spring season. And while we expect the rain for the next couple of days, brighter days are in the future. For now, reporting live in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Thackerman. All right, well, hopefully those showers will bring those flowers soon. They'll come. They will come. Be patient. Thanks, Sarah.